Boker Tov, and welcome to the Philadelphia Assembly. Shalom on the Sabbath day. Whoop, again, I think I said that a little different than I usually do. I'm sorry. I usually say Shalom on the Sabbath day. Welcome to the Philadelphia Assemblies. It's a little bit earlier than we usually start, but uh, I'm going to cover a little more territory today. I'm going to do three separate videos. One on the book of Obadiah. Okay, one on Jonah. And one on Micah. So we're going to be doing all three of those books, and we're going to be setting each video separately. So if you're looking for it on YouTube, again, go to the individual book. They're not going to be lumped together. Okay. Today, on the uh, sacred or Yahuwah's calendar, is the eighth day of the fifth month of the year 5781. It's also the uh, 31st day of July 2021 on the Gregorian calendar. So again, if you think, wow, why are they so much different than everybody else? Well, we're not. There's others that are on this time as well. Uh, but we recognize the new moon as being the full moon per Psalm 81 verse 3. And if you want to know even more about that, uh, go to YouTube, Philadelphia Assemblies at youtube.com and look at new moon according to scripture. That's one that will tell you how we discern the full moon as the full moon, as the new moon, and also keeping the calendar according to scripture. Those two videos will explain why we are on the time that we're on. Okay? So again, before we get started with this expository teaching on the book of Obadiah, we're going to turn to the east where the temple was and where it's prophesied to be again in Jerusalem and in Israel. So let's go ahead and open in prayer. Almighty Father Yahuwah, we praise you in all things. Father, we praise you for this Sabbath day and for the understanding of it. We praise you for all those that you had your hedge of protection around and kept them from this plague that's upon the whole earth. Father, we ask that your continued protection will stay around those that are called, those that are being called, and those that you are yet to call. We ask that you would uh, bless us, that you would uh, keep us, and any that are sick, we ask that you would heal. And we ask that uh, any that have lost loved ones in this time period, we ask that you give the, them the peace that passes the end all understanding through your Ruach HaKadosh. Again, we ask that you would anoint us before we go to the Word this morning, Father, with an extra unction or anointing of that Ruach HaKadosh, that Holy Spirit of promise, and for it, for it, that Holy Spirit to teach us all things that you have uh, desired for us to know. We ask all these things in your precious Son, Yahushua's name. Amen. Okay. This is going to be a real short one, so it didn't matter if I talked a little bit on the front end of it. Okay, the book of Obadiah, the prophet. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith Yahuwah Elohim. Oh, I, I'm going to correct myself there. Thus saith, let me start again. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith Adonai Yahuwah, concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from Yahuwah and an ambassador is sent among the nations. Got heathen in the King James, but it's nations in the Hebrew. Okay, arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, this is all in red. The rest of the whole book is in red, okay, except for where it says, the, saith Yahuwah. Okay, so, behold, I have made you small among the nations. Talking about Israel. You are greatly despised. The pride of your heart has deceived you. So, always, you know, being Israel, and especially the, the physical nation of Israel, wasn't always such a good thing. It was good that they were set apart and sanctified from the rest of the world. But it's notice what it says. and It says, the pride of, the, of your heart has deceived you. And I think that may be going on yet today with a lot of different people. Okay. You that dwell in the cliffs of the rock, okay, whose habitation is high, I'm talking about those Israel, okay, that saith his in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Okay. 
you, though you exalt yourself as the eagle, and though you set your nest among the stars, from, from there will I bring you down, saith Yahuwah. Verse 5, If thieves came to you, if robbers by night, how are, the, how are you cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to you, would they not leave some grapes? This is a question mark, okay? So, obviously that's true. There would always be a remnant of Israel, but these grape harvesters that he's talking about here, these are the ones that are come to pluck down and destroy the nation of Israel, okay? And it says, will, will, would, there be, would, would they not have leave some grapes? Obviously they did. Verse 6, How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of your confederacy. Now the word confederacy here means those that turned against Yahuwah. Okay, that's the confederacy. Just like in the United States here, we had a confederacy in the Civil War, and they turned against the Union. That's why they call them the Confederacy. Okay? Have brought you even to the border. The men that were at peace with you have deceived you and prevailed against you. They that eat your bread have laid an ambush for you. There is no understanding in him, the one that's doing that to them. But he's been used as a tool, just like Nebuchadnezzar and all the rest, to obviously destroy the nation of Israel at this time. Shall I not stand in that day, saith Yahuwah? Even destroy the wise men out of Edom, and understanding out of the mount of, of the mount of Esau. And your mighty men, O Teman, shall be dis dismayed to to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Now, we know Esau is a son of Abraham as well. Okay, We know that Esau went against Israel. And today, some of the people that are in the Promised Land that think they're Israel are Esau. Okay? Or Edomites. Edom. Okay? But they're only a, a minority because the majority of those in there are Eastern Europeans as Kenazi Jews. But... For prophecy's sake, we can understand how this all fits together with what's going on even today. For your violence against your brother Jacob, okay? We know Esau is Jacob's brother. Shame shall cover you, and you shall be cut off forever as a nation, not individually, no more than Israel was cut off individually, okay? If an, Edom, uh, an Edomite or someone from the from Esau, from the though from that bloodline of Esau, comes to the Messiah, repents, and turns away, he becomes Israel. Okay? So let's not read more into this than here either. Okay? In the day that you should stood on the other side, in the day that strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into the, his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even you were as one of them, Esau. Okay? But you should not have looked on the day of your brother in the day that he became a stranger or cut off. In other words, so he looked upon his brother, Jacob or Israel, and saw that he was cut off and he took advantage of it. Okay? Just like what goes on with Israel today all over the world, it's, you know, it, it is true that Israel is under a curse and will be under a curse till the Messiah returns. But those that take advantage of that, woe unto them that come against the nation of Israel. Okay? And that's what this is talking about. As, uh, as Edom at this time and even in this present time to a degree. Okay? But you should not have looked on the day of your brother and the day that he became a stranger, cut off, Jacob, neither should you have rejoiced over the Ben or sons of Yehuda in the day of their destruction. 
neither should you have spoken proudly in the days of distress. Okay, so we can go back to Romans chapter 11 to get more understanding for that. We don't have to go there. But in Romans chapter 11 it says, don't you be proud because some of them were cut off because of unbelief. Okay? Or leastwise the same thing happened to you. And that's what same kind of verbiage here that's going to the nation of Edom or the Edomites. You should not have entered into the gate of my people. He, notice he still calls Israel his people. In the day of their calamity when they were cut off from the Most High. Yes, you should not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance or stole it in the day of their calamity. And they've done that today with their birthright. Okay? Neither should you have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. Even though Yahuwah said, no, you know, they wouldn't escape and He used all the... But they chose in their heart to come against them. Okay? Neither should you have delivered up or imprisoned those of His, of his that did remain in the day of distress. So they went, pushed it a little too far. That's what you're saying basically. They went and held up their own thing and tried to make themselves higher than Yaakov. For the day of Yahuwah is near upon all the nations. It's nearer now than it was then, isn't it? As you have done, it shall be done unto you. And, you know, we know that our Messiah said that. that what do you do? You, you do unto your neighbor as you would have him do unto yourself, pretty much, in the Beatitudes. Okay? So, we're going to be judged by our works. We're going to be rewarded by our works, good or bad. Not good necessarily here, not at all. Your reward will re shall, shall return upon your own head. For as you have drunk upon my set-apart mountain, talking to Esau, so shall all the nations drink continually. Yes, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. Because when it's all summed up, we're either going to be part of the commonwealth of Israel or we're going to not exist. Okay. But upon Mount Zion will be uh, upon Mount Zion those who escape and there shall be set apartness or holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. They will. Just as promised. They're going to possess the possession, the entire nation of Israel that was promised to them from the beginning, they will possess. Okay? But the rest of the world will be by those that are part of the commonwealth of Israel. Okay? Verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Yosef a flame, and the, and the house of Esau for stubble. Now, that doesn't mean not one person that's of the bloodline of Esau is going to be uh, destroyed. That doesn't mean that. That means all those that contend and stayed with that, that thing that they were in. Because today, if someone from the nation of uh, an Edomite turns from his wicked ways and goes to the Messiah, he's going to be grafted into the commonwealth of Israel and then Esau as a nation still stubble. Okay? Just like the physical nation of Israel was cut down. Okay? But the promise of those of faith that come to our father Abraham will be fulfilled in the commonwealth of Israel, which will include quite a few of the natural seed of Israel and innumerable multitudes of those from the other nations. Okay? And there shall be not be any rem remaining of the house of Esau. They won't be still Edomites. Okay? For Yahuwah has spoken it. And believe me, that will come to pass. Just as every other nation will not exist in the millennial reign or in the new heaven and new earth. And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau. And they of the plain of the Philistines. And they shall possess the fields of Ephraim and the fields of Samaria and Benjamin shall go shall possess Gilead and the captive of this host or this army of the 
sons of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even unto Zarephath. I probably I dismantled that probably. And the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Shepharad, will uh, shall possess the cities of the south. And the deliverers will come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be Yahuwah of Yo and it shall be Yahuwah's kingdom. Okay? And that's the conclusion of the book of Obadiah. And it mainly is a prophecy of the nation of Esau or Edomites, okay, being cut off. They were cut off back here. And they'll be all as all the nations will be cut off. They'll uh, they'll be cut off in the end as well. They'll either be part of the Commonwealth of Israel or they won't exist. Okay, okay. That's the end of the book of uh, Obadiah. If you haven't yet subscribed, go hit that subscribe button. Okay, and then hit that like button if you like this uh, reading of the book of Obadiah and share it if you would because that helps more than anything and then hit that notification bell so you can get the next video as it when it comes out and may Yahuwah bless until we meet again